Welcome everyone to Iron Fury Plays Pokemon Yellow Version Randomized Nuzlocke, and today is the finale. Let's check out the team one last time. Up first we have Steve the Jolteon, Great Speed, spe Great Special, Thunderbolt, Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. Fantastic move set. Up next we have Audrey 2, Decent Mixed Attacker and Solid Defense and Speed with si Sludge, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Cut. Up third with Great Speed and Special we have Stargazer the Alakazam with Psybeam, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, and Blizzard. Up fourth is our starter Kinikuman with Sky High Attack, Solid Defense, and OK Everywhere Else with Slash, High Jump Kick, Submission, and Fly. Up fourth with solid stats all across the board, we have Ride the Lightning, the flying type Zapdos, flying electric, whatever, with Thunderbolt, Blizzard, Waterfall, and Strength. And last, but certainly not least, our nuke of a nuke, Dagother welcomes you, friend, with Psychic, Crab, Hammer, Fire Blast, and Confusion. So unfortunately, he couldn't learn Thunder Punch. I tried. I also took the liberty of basically picking our items here for what we're going to need. Um, 30 full restore should be more than enough. Plus we have hyper potions and full heals and all that stuff. Let's just get right into it. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. Alright, what do you got for me? A victory bell! Okay. And she's level 64. So, I think 70 was a good place to be, because by the time we get to the rival... Spoiler. By the time we get to the champion probably going to be in the 70s. Just going to thunderbolt you. We got from uh, Seeking. Oh, don't tell me this whole battle is going to be a joke to Steve. So far it's looking that way. Golem! Not that a bubble be the key here. Gotta love those four times effective moves. The gold duck, wow. This was just Steve wins the battle. Okay, and her ace was actually 67. Ooh. Ooh, that tells me we might actually be in for a tough Elite Four. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League power. Yeah, I believe it. Alright, Bruno. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon, Dave. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! Oh, Jimmy! It's Jimmy. Really? We're calling for a celebration in the Elite Four? You know, Bruno, for a boring-ass trainer like yourself, you would have Al War. And you still have all this. Is Steve really going to just clean up the Elite Four? Honestly? Kind of doesn't matter at this point. I might just let Steve run the gauntlet. You're probably going to still have Growl. Oh, yeah, Thunder Punch. Something that actually can do damage, but you still miss, so... 
Magneton proving to be hot garbage in this randomizer. I don't even feel remotely threatened. Yeah, you know what? I'm calling it audible. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. I'm calling it audible. I'm just letting Steve run the gauntlet. How are you on health? You're still at full health. I am Agatha, the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Dave, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. All right, you old bag. Daniel wants to fight. Oh, shit. You have an Electabuzz. It starts at level 67. This probably won't one-shot, but... Jesus Christ, Eve. A Nidoking! King gonna hit you with this beat. Oh my god, Steve, you monster! <laughs> A Beedrill? Okay, for real. I know I'm a couple levels over, but if this isn't making a case for why Jolteon is one of the best Pokemon in Gen 1, especially in a randomizer, like, he is just making mincemeat of the Elite Four. Oh, you have a Mewtwo! And it's level 71. This might actually be a threat! It's not a threat. Woohoo! You're something special, child. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Alright. I'm gonna hyper potion. And I'm going to use an elixir. Surely you provide me with an excellent challenge, Mr. Dragon Trainer. Ah, I heard about you, Dave. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raid, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your lead challenge ends with me, Dave. All right, Vegeta. <laughs> Pansy wants to fight. Uh, Sand Slash. Nice, 69. Are you shit? You got tap. Shit, he's got a Kaniku man. Okay. Oh, we get the crit, never mind. Not a threat.
This shit's still one shot. Level 74, it's over leveled. Is this gonna be a one shot? No, it is not. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ew. Ew. Boo. Boo, you. Get that shit out of here. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Dave. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Jerk. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. And simply because I can. Alright, this is it. <clears throat> hey! I was looking forward to seeing you, Dave. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on the Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Dave! You know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. The world all. Jerk wants to fight. Oh wow, you actually still have an Alakazam. And he starts at level 73. Earthquake probably won't kill, but it's gonna hurt. Beam that shouldn't do too much. Of course, you got the crit and the attack fell. This may matter. That may have mattered. Yeah, you cocksucker. Uh, I'm gonna earthquake again. He's probably gonna go for another Aurora Beam. Oh, we got a crit. Never mind. Didn't matter. Let's go. Starmie? Staying in for that. Thunderbolt the shit out of you. A Venusaur? Ice Beam. This should one shot. If not, it should come close. Come on. A Marowak. I have to Ice Beam here. Let's go! A Magneton? I'm not changing, but I am gonna heal. This Magneton is not a threat, so... That may have actually just been That's okay. Yeah, I'm not. Hyper Beam, I'm not. I'm not as worried about that as you would think. Yeah, I'm gonna Ice Beam here. Oh, and I got the freeze! Oh, shit. Steve is just running the show, and he, of course he has that Arbok. I'm not even gonna hit her, like I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Level 77 Arbok, Steve is gonna get the Paralyze. Oh, he has Slash, that's actually kind of scary. Let's go! 
Steve just soloed the Elite Four and the Champion. Dave defeated Jerk. No! That can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become League Champ, my reign is over already? It's not fair! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. So you won! Congratulations on your new Pokemon League Champion! You've grown up so much since I since you first left with my champ. Dave, you have come of age. Jerk! I'm disappointed! I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost! You're a loser! Jerk! You understand why you lost? Have you, you have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Dave! You understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Dave, come with me. <laughs> Congratulations, Dave. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Dave, you have endeavored hard to become the new League Champion. Congratulations, Dave. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. All right. We did it. There's the MVP, Steve. He just carried us through this Elite Four. Audrey 2 was actually a much better Pokemon than I would imagine. I never used a Victory Bell before, but that was fun. All of the moveset kind of carried Stargazer, I'm gonna be honest, like, it, it's a great Pokemon, but it was kind of redundant. Our starter, Kaneko Man, kind of fell off at the end as far as usage goes, but he always remained a powerhouse. Ride the Lightning, again, I had a Jolteon, but I'm not gonna say no to having a Zapdos. And of course, there's Dagother. Dagother welcomes you, friend. And there we are. Pokedex rating. Looking good. Go find my A when you get 50. And that is it, folks. The Nuzlocke is over. And, um... I guess I'll take this time to talk about the project. And to tell you the truth, I wasn't sure I was going to do another Nuzlocke. But I've been playing Pokemon ROM hacks and watching other people play Pokemon and it kind of gave me the itch to do another Nuzlocke. And Kanto is always an easy go-to. Um, Gen 1 is has a lot of charm and it's easy for me to just go back to. It was between this or Emerald and I just I decided to play Yellow. And I had a lot of fun doing it. I had to record in small segments and I literally would have to get up super early just to edit thumbnails or make sure that videos got up on time, stuff like that, between my work schedule, my home life, and this. Uh, but I had a lot of fun doing it. It was worth it to me to do this. And even though this series didn't get a lot of views, that's fine. I don't, I don't necessarily do it for that. I mean, I do, but it's not the be-all, end-all for me. But... I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And we're going to do Cerulean Cave. Now the Nuzlocke is technically over, so uh, there's not really a lot to worry about. Like, I'm not worried about Pokemon fainting. I'm not worried about anything like that. But we're going to go check out Cerulean Cave. If it lets me move forward. Come on. There we go. Alright. Save. Alright. I didn't mean to use strength. I 
I didn't mean to go to Celadon! Alright, I am going to put Steve away. And I'm gonna go get Al Gore. I'm gonna put Dagoth up front, just cause I want to. gonna go crazy over items or anything like that. Um, we're just gonna basically get our two encounters and then call it a part. Well, of course, there's an item here, but... I'm not gonna go out of my way. Alright, our Cerulean Cave encounter is a Mr. Mime, which I already have, so that's dupes. A Chansey! Chansey actually would have been pretty good. We caught it. And Chansey is a cleric, so I'm just going to name it Nurse. <laughs> Level 57 Spiros. Oh, that's pretty funny. Heroes. Okay. Uh, is there really nothing else of interest here? Aerodactyl. That's pretty cool. Right. I think we can put our repels up now. I think I only have one. That's fine.
I think this is where we have to go. Trolling Cave is one of those ones that it's easy to get kind of lost in. Could be a TM. Carbos. Leaf Stone. Mostly evolutionary stones and uh, vitamins. transferred to the PC. Alright, that is it. We are done here. And, um, I don't know what the next project's going to be, but we'll do something in the hopefully not too distant future. But, that'll be till then. Until next time, guys. Th take care, and thanks for watching. Have a good one.